The Wonderful World of Materials, Learning English Vocabulary. Hello, English learners. Welcome back to another episode in our series of Conversational English. Today, we're going to dive into an important topic, types of materials. From the clothes we wear to the furniture in our homes, materials are all around us. So, it's very useful to know how to describe these different types of materials in English. To start, what is a material? In simple terms, a material is a substance or mixture of substances that constitutes an object. It's what objects are made of. We have a lot of materials around us, like metal, plastic, wood, and many more. When you describe an object, mentioning the material it's made of can provide significant detail about it. For instance, a wooden table gives a more complete picture than simply a table. Now, let's jump into some specific materials you're likely to encounter in daily life. 1. Metal. This is a hard, shiny material often used in the construction of buildings, cars, and machinery. Examples of metals include steel, iron, gold, and aluminum. 2. Plastic. This is a light, flexible material that's often used to make containers, toys, and many household items. 3. Wood. This comes from trees and is often used to create furniture, flooring, and many other things. 4. Glass. This is a hard, transparent material used to make windows, bottles, glasses, and more. 5. Cotton. This is a soft, fluffy material from the cotton plant. It's commonly used in making clothes, beddings, and towels. 6. Leather. This is a material made from the skin of animals, typically used for making shoes, bags, jackets, and furniture. Remember, these are just a few examples. There are many more materials out there. So, we know the names of some materials. But how do we describe them? Well, there are many adjectives we can use. Here are some examples. 1. Smooth. This means having an even and regular surface, like a glass table. 2. Rough. This is the opposite of smooth. An example would be a wooden bench that hasn't been sanded down. 3. Shiny. This refers to something reflecting light, like polished metal. 4. Dull. This is the opposite of shiny. An example might be an old plastic bucket. Keep in mind, these adjectives are very versatile and can be used with many different materials. And there we have it an introduction to the types of materials in English. We hope this video helps you enrich your English vocabulary and enables you to describe the world around you more accurately. Remember, practice makes perfect. Try to use these words and phrases as much as possible in your daily English conversations. Until next time, keep practicing and happy learning.